everyone. Welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents Book Look. And the book we're looking at today, I know we're technically at the Christmas season, but you know what? Creepy Cute is good all year round. And this is Creepy Cute Crochet, Zombies, Ninjas, Robots, and More by Kristen Hayden. And aren't those stinking adorable? In case you didn't know, my little book look series here is me with books that I have found mostly used books um, from various used sources, sometimes from thrift stores, um, occasionally new books from the dollar store. And... Um, just wherever I can find them. And I try to give you a look through in case you want to go and acquire these yourself. You've got a little idea of what's in them. Flipping it over to the back of the book. We've got Attack of the Cute with some more of the little cute figures that are in there. Look at this. This was originally $14.95 US. And I did not pay $14.95 for this. No, I got it, I believe, off of A Books, which is a used bookstore online that I frequent. And I paid, I think, four bucks for it. Uh, pause here. Sorry about that little break there. I had to cough, and I didn't want to cough your ear off. Okay, nice little open book there with the little black background. Awesome sauce. Some slime green going there. This is apparently put out by Quirk Books of Philadelphia. Yeah, it's quirky, but it's awesome. And this is from 2008. Copyright 2008. I know that's not going to pick up very well because these pages are all very shiny. It's easy to see in person. It's hard to see on my little camera. What lurks within, that's so much fun. Um, why I created the creatures in the book, some tools, crochet basics, embellishments and weapon weaponry that you put on the little dudes and dudettes as it were, putting it all together, how to put them together, and look at all of the creatures. In green here, all of these are the creatures that are in this book. Are you kidding me? There is so much cuteness. And this is the whys and also some resources that are good for any crocheter um, about you know, the, the different yarns and yarn directories, crochet hooks that you might need, yarn and suggested colors, stuffing and what to do there, needle and thread, scissors, felt, etc., and ad nauseum. And look, this is so cute. These are the basic materials you need to make me and my friends. Yes! Optional materials if you decide to do other things uh, with your little dudes here. Crochet basics some stitches and such stitch key because that also that telling you how to do it if there's a chart a note about gauge special techniques how to do a magic ring in written form i always struggle with the magic ring still i've seen it done a million times i understand it i get it and then my hands won't do it clean color change on how to do that uh, pattern stitches clean fasten off Look, embellishments and weaponry. Look at this little guy. Oh my God, that's so cute. Attaching fringe hair. Just all little bits and bobs here. Um, eyes. Uh, pros and cons of each sort of eye there. Buttons, beads, safety eyes, um, embroidery, polymer clay. Well, that's kind of cool. Um, plain eyes and how to do with polymer clay. Look at this. My hair and eyes are what make me special. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Some arms and armaments for your little dudes. Putting it all together. And that is uh, basically how to sew things together, in what order, how to do your innards and all of that. And these are the creatures. Are you flipping kidding me? How cute is that, y'all? I could see these being backpack buddies. I could just see them laying around the house. Yes, these are so stinking adorable. The devil, oh my God, how cute. Apparently he's in the details, it says. Difficulty level intermediate on this one. Look, and this tells you all that you need for this one. Stuffing, thread, what size, you know, needle or hook or rather, um, felt for the eyes if you want to do that, or half inch eyes, just all the different stuff. And it tells you exactly what to do. It tells you how to make the goatee, okay? 
Nosferatu, bloodthirsty, yes, but adorable too. Yes, he is so cute. And again, this is all very well done in how it tells you what to do with each of these things. There's even a chart. And again, there are instructions on how to read this chart earlier in the book. The Queen Vampire. Be sure to keep Her Majesty out of the sun. Look at that. I love the loopy hair. Gorgeous. All the little bits and bobs. Very well detailed in this. Cthulhu, crazy cute. How adorable is that? The Skeleton Bride and Groom. Till death do them part. Yeah, that's cute. Also says on this one, difficulty level, beginner for this one, for these two guys. And it goes through, it, the book has a pretty standard format. It shows it to you, shows you what you need, and tells you how to do it. Medusa. <laughs> Bad hair day, seriously, it says. I kind of love that. Yeah, that is super cute. That's how my hair is all the time, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but this one is kind of interesting fuzzy alien it says lovable in an otherworldly way it says it's a beginner look at that yarn though that must be a product of the yarn and they've got it in there with cupcakes i want a cupcake now seriously and i want to make that little guy cleric oh yes healing tortured souls with a mace Yes, look at his little felt base. Oh my God, that's cute. Amazon, I get called an Amazon in my life on a regular basis and I have for years. So there is that. Come on, just give her a reason. Yeah, um, around and find out is, is my motto. Uh, <laughs> but seriously, this book puts it all together for you. And I think, you know, if you've been a crocheter for like a million years, you know, you could probably figure this stuff out without going too much into the patterns. But for me, having the patterns is super helpful. Corporate zombie, I feel like that sometimes, only I don't have to wear a tie because I work from home. Um, eat, sleep, work, brains. Brains, okay. Uh, <laughs> the Grim Reaper, This, if this isn't the cutest Grim Reaper ever, I don't know what is. Look. Death has many faces. This one's pretty cute, isn't it though? That's adorbs. Yes, the Grim Reaper is adorbs, okay? I said it. Shows you how to make the hood. Look at the Trojan. Little known fact, um, the high school that I went to, we were the Trojans. Yeah. Yes, we were aware that that is a name of uh, a prophylactic. Yeah. Grow up with that, y'all. Just grow up with that. Uh, <laughs> anyway, little side note there. The Spartan. We are Sparta. Oh, sorry. He's rather terse, laconic even. But look at that face. Look at the little mask. <laughs> that is the cutest Spartan ever. It says difficulty level epic. So I'm thinking this one because it has so many pieces, you know, with the little, the little shield to put on and a little, you know, sword and a little mask that there's so many pieces that it might be a little harder to do. Not undoable, not not doable. Just there's a lot of little bits and bobs to do in there. Oh, I'm kind of loving this. Cyber zombie just needs to recharge with some brains. And you put eyelets in him in his little outfit and stuff. You want to put a hole in there? Yes. Oh my gosh. Look at the knight. He follows in a long tradition of legless, armless knights. <laughs> it's totally a flesh wound. Yeah. If you know what that's from, then you're probably as old as I am. Okay. <laughs> The ninja, tiny, stealthy, deadly, cute. Oh, that's an adorbs ninja. Day of the Dead, gal and fellow. I love Dia de los Muertos. This is so cute. Um, yes, they are dressed up for it. They don't have the sugar candy skulls, but they are the little skulls themselves. Little, uh, oh. The, the head thing I'm crown the crown of flowers beautiful love it a lot of directions on there because there are two of them to do with that one 
The monkey, everyone loves monkeys. Well, of course they do. Look at this little guy. How cute is that? And seriously, I think that making this and kind of going through the book and going through each of the steps and learning each one, that would really up my amigurumi skills. Because I, I just, I don't have the patience to do it most of the time. But I saw these and I want these. And this robot just says, noop. Bloop, bloop, noop, noop. What a cute little robot. Love it. Basic body parts on how to make... Um, it says, this section contains instructions and diagrams to create all the common pattern pieces for the creatures, their bodies, arms, and heads. Mark this page, you'll refer to it again and again. So instead of repeating these on every single page, they just put it back here and say, yo, make a basic body, make a basic arm, make a basic head, and then move on. And a conversion chart between um, metric and us and crochet hook sizes that you need. And basically they're saying, this is all you're gonna need here. Uh, 2.25 millimeter, which is a US one or B, and a 3.5 millimeter, which is a US E or four. So yes, little tiny hooks for a lot of fun. Attack of the cute, absolutely. Originally 14.95, I think this probably would have been worth it or close to worth it at, at the stated price. But of course I didn't pay that because your girl is cheap. But this is seriously cute. If you're a fan of creepy stuff um, and cute stuff at the same time, you're probably gonna like this one. I like it, it's fun just to flip through. When I got it, I totally squeed and the hubby looked at me like I'd lost my own head. But you know, he does that a lot. We've been together over 20 years, and I, I still manage to flip him out sometimes. Eh, you know. But anywho, what did you think of this cute little creepy cute crochet book? Would you like to make some things out of this? Which one would you like to make? Anyone in particular? I'm, I'm kind of digging the little Grim Reaper because, you know, it's kind of cute. Um, but I'm actually digging a lot of them. So let me know in the comments below. Also in the comments below, if there are any books that you have seen about and you would like me to go and take a look through, um, if it's something that I can find at a reasonable price and I can do a book look, I'd be happy to do that. I really enjoy getting more books and stuff. And you never know if it's something that if my collection starts getting too big, they may end up in giveaways because sometimes your girl knows she's got too much stuff. And besides, I have to make more room for yarn, right? I mean, that's just the way it goes. I'd love it if you hit the like button uh, before you left today. If you're not subscribed, I'd be grateful if you would. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. And uh, make sure you turn on the bell for all the notifications because you don't want to miss all the weird and fun stuff that I tend to do here on Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. Thank you much. I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.